Welcome back to the Sawmill Build. We're on to, ow, episode 12 now. If this is your first time here, there should be a card up here to the playlist of the rest of this build. Check it out if this is something that interests you. In this episode, we're going to go over our blade tensioning mechanism and how we set that all up and what it took to tension the blade. So, let's see just what it did take. With two angled pieces channel, these are off cuts from something, I'm not sure what. We're going to weld them together, so they're flat on the bottom. And this is going to be what our tension rod butts up against. I got the vise closer before I did this. Minor. Well, something like that. It's going to be a good day when you open a new box of rods, right? As long as you open the right end. And I open the wrong end. So I want the end that goes in the stinger to be facing out. Which if I was pulling them out of the right out of the box would be the right way. But I want them in the tube the right way. I just killed another mosquito. There we go. Find the grinder. Now we're going to grind this one down flush. This is going to go here, right about there, I think. I 
it's in line with the plate on the back of the tube that it slides on so get a square make sure it's square I bet you it's not because why would it be just setting it on there That'll do. That's pretty good. I think that's only the third or fourth time I've beaten my head off the winch so far. This is a piece of one inch grade eight dreaded rod, 18 inches long with a one inch nut welded on the end of it. And I welded that just before I turned the camera on so it's a little warm. Yeah, quite warm. I don't know if the little adjustable will go that big. Vice grips will. Yeah, it don't matter. We can clamp back here. I don't know if I videoed this part, but that's just a one-inch coupling nut. And it's had a, a one-inch tap run through it to clean the threads out. Just got some goobers there from the sticker that I couldn't manage to get peeled off. We're going to lube the threads up. I don't know if graphite is a good thing to use for thread lube. Or bad, or what. We're going to find out. In all reality, we should have let the graphite dry. But oh well. It does not appear to have the desired effect. Our slider is jamming up.
Again, rust is not our friend. Maybe now is a good time to clean that up and graphite that as well. That's still warm. Oh, come on. Oh, it's heavier than I remembered. Just a flap wheel now. Damn it. Well, we got some tension on it. This may be cheating a little bit. Because the cable is actually in one of the tread grooves. Then it's not that tight. Dare we spin this with the motor? I think we should. I don't care what you guys think because I'm here. I'm going to do it. All right, belts on, stand-in blade is on, fuel is on, choke is on.
They spin pretty quick. So whatever happened there, we lost our... Uh, oh, wow, we broke the cable. Which one's going to stop first? I think this one, because it's got something rubbing on it. And that one's got more weight behind it. Yeah, that, uh, that didn't work well. I'm thinking I just pulled it right out of the clamp. Oh well, it was a good idea while it lasted. That wheel's got quite a bit of wobble in it. I really don't know why it's going tick, tick, tick. Yeah, I don't know. 